Hey guys, the Octra pre-testnet is live and in this stage of the testnet, we'll be using the command line interface, which is the CLI. In this video, I'll be showing you how to join the Octra pre-testnet and complete the testnet tax using GitHub Codespace. First thing we need to do is to generate our Octra wallet. So visit github.com slash codespaces you also find the link in the description. Once you're on code spaces, you see some quick templates. On the blank template, click use this template. And wait for a few seconds for your code space to set up. Once your code space terminal is fully loaded, it will look like this. We'll be using Zon's guide to generate the Ultra wallet. You'll find the link to Zon's guide in the description. On Zon's guide, scroll to the bottom of the page and here you will see the command to install curl. Click the copy icon, go back to your code space and paste the code. If you get this prompt, click allow and hit enter to run the code. Go back to the guide and now the next code will generate your Octra wallet. So click the copy icon to copy the code, go back to your code space paste the code here if you get this pop-up you can close it by clicking x and hit enter to run the code if you get this prompt hit enter and wait for the code to execute once the code has executed you'll find that your wallet details have been saved to this text file here to access the text file on your explorer section you see this folder ultra wallet cli click on it to expand it and click this text file here so make sure you copy the content of this text file and save it somewhere because you'll be needing it later so this is your ultra wallet private key this is your public key and this is your ultra address now that we've generated our ultra wallet we can delete this code space so to delete the code space go back to your code spaces if you don't see your code space refresh the page so on the address bar you will see the name of the code space so mine is literate space computing machine so go back to your code spaces and you can confirm that this is the code space and now we can delete it make sure you've copied your ultra wallet details before deleting the code space GitHub allows you to create a maximum of two free code spaces. So since I already have one code space, I have to delete this new one I created to create another code space. Now that we've generated our Octra wallet, the next thing to do is to claim test tokens from the Octra faucet. So copy your Octra address and visit faucet.octra.network. You'll find the link in the description paste your octra address here remember it starts with oct complete the capture and click claim test tokens now we've received some oct once you've claimed test tokens you can start interacting on the octra pre-testnet now that we've gotten our octra wallet the next thing to do is to set up the octra cli so we can complete our testnet task to do that, we create a new code space using the blank template. So click use this template and wait for the code space to set up. So while you're waiting for the code space terminal to set up, we'll visit the Octra GitHub for the guide on how to install our Octra CLI. You'll find the link to the Octra guide in the description. So we we'll need to execute this code to set up the Octra CLI. Click the copy icon to copy the first code. Go back to your code space terminal, paste the code here, hit enter on your keyboard and wait for the code to execute. Once the code has executed, head over to the explorer section and click Octra client to expand the folder. Click wallet.json. So here you will be required to replace this with your Octra wallet private key and this with your Octra address. Copy your Octra private key, paste it here. Copy your Octra address, paste it here. Use Ctrl S to save this file. 
once you've saved the file the next thing is to copy the final code that will run the octra cli so let's head back to the octra github guide and copy this last code so click the copy icon to copy the code go back to your code space terminal paste the code here and hit enter on your keyboard depending on your screen size you may need to resize your terminal if you move your cursor to the edge of this terminal you will see this arrow so you can drag it upwards to expand the size you can also click the x icon here to close this wallet.json file since we've already saved it to give you more room for your cli so i can drag this to the top to have more space for the cli to show properly you may need to wait for a few seconds for the cli to load properly if your cli is loaded properly it should look like this you'll see some information on the wallet explorer section and you will see this little box beside the command text for you to enter the number that corresponds to the action you want to take. Once the Octra CLI has loaded completely, you can start completing transactions. For now, the transactions on the Octra pretestnet involve sending test tokens publicly to other users, sending test tokens publicly to multiple users at once, and sending test tokens privately to other users. So on the CLI, you will see the option to enter your command. And for each transaction, you will see the number associated with it. For example, if I want to use multi-send, I will enter three as the command. If I want to exit, I will use zero as the command and so on and so forth. So you see the tags here with their corresponding numbers for the command you want to use. So here you can enter your command. So first to send public transactions to other users, the number associated with this tax is one. So you press one on your keyboard and hit enter. Enter the address of the user you want to send test tokens to. Hit enter. Enter the amount of test tokens you want to send to the user. Hit enter. Now you can add a message to this transaction type whatever message you want and hit enter or just hit enter to skip if you don't want to send any message so i hit enter and now you have to confirm the transaction by pressing y on your keyboard and hitting enter so now this transaction has been sent so hit the enter key on your keyboard to return to the cli dashboard the next task involves sending tokens to multiple users at once and that is the multi-send to do that, press number three on your keyboard and hit enter. So here, paste the Octra address of the user you want to send tokens to. Hit space on your keyboard, enter the amount of test tokens you want to send and hit enter. So paste the next address you want to send to. Hit space on your keyboard and enter the amount of tokens you want to send. Now hit the enter key on your keyboard. Paste the next address you want to send to. Hit space. Enter the amount of tokens you want to send and hit enter on your keyboard. So you can keep doing this until you've entered all the addresses you want to send to. If you are done, just hit the enter key. Now press Y on your keyboard to confirm the transaction. Hit enter and now you've sent test tokens to these addresses. So hit enter to go back to the CLI dashboard. So the next transaction involves sending test tokens privately to other users. Before you can do that, you need to encrypt some of your tokens. You can only make private transactions with your encrypted tokens. So to encrypt your tokens, the command for this is number four. Press four on your keyboard and hit enter. Enter the amount of tokens you want to encrypt. Hit enter. Press Y on your keyboard to confirm the encryption and hit enter. So now the encryption is in progress. Hit enter to return to the CLI dashboard. Once you've encrypted some of your tokens, you can start sending private transactions. To make private transactions, use the private transfer and that is number six. So press number six on your keyboard and hit enter. Paste the recipient's Octra address. Hit enter. Enter the amount of tokens you want to send. Hit enter. Press Y on your keyboard to confirm the transaction and hit enter. 
and now the private transfer has been submitted so hit enter to return to the cli dashboard once you receive private transfers from other users you have to claim them for the tokens to be added to your balance so to do that we use this command which is number seven so press number seven on your keyboard and hit enter and here you can see your available transfers to claim a transfer enter the number that corresponds to the transaction for example this transaction is number one as you can see here this transaction is number two as you can see here to claim this transaction you use number two on your keyboard let's claim this first transaction to do that press number one on the keyboard and hit enter so sometimes you may see this timeout error just hit enter to continue most time the transaction is successful but you still get the timeout error so you may have to come back to confirm that you have claimed that transfer so hit enter on the keyboard and let's confirm if we've claimed that transfer go back to number seven hit enter as you can see the transaction was claimed even though it showed the timeout error this is number one so to claim this use number one on the keyboard and hit enter so now the transaction has been claimed and the token added to our encrypted balance so hit enter to continue to decrypt your balance use the number five command so press five on your keyboard and hit enter enter the amount of tokens you want to decrypt hit enter press y on your keyboard to confirm the transaction and hit enter and now the token has been decrypted so hit enter to continue to the dashboard the number eight command exports your keys the number nine command clears your history and the number zero command exits the cli sometimes you may encounter errors that don't go away on the cli to fix that you may have to refresh one of the most common errors you may encounter is the duplicate transaction error so if you face that error you just have to refresh your cli to fix it share your ultra address in the comments and i'll be happy to send you some test tokens you'll find my ultra address in the description so send me some test tokens you can also find more addresses in my telegram group or in the ultra discord you'll find the link to the Optra Discord in the description. So once you join the Discord, look for this channel for token sharing. So in this channel, you'll find lots of Optra addresses. So copy those addresses for your public and private transfers. Share your address so others can send you some test tokens. So what happens if for some reason you close your terminal or you can't see your terminal? There are two ways to do that. The first one is by using Control shift c and your terminal will reopen or you click the menu icon at the left here and click terminal click new terminal so this way your new terminal window will be opened for you to run your cli on the github code space what if you try to run your cli and you get this error of no such file or directory it means you're not on the Octra pre-client folder. So how do you get to the Octra pre-client folder? Use the command CD, Octra. Once you start spelling Octra, you can use the tab button to auto-complete your spelling and hit enter. So now you are on the Octra pre-client folder and you can use the command dot slash run dot sh to launch your CLI or you can go back to the Octra GitHub guide and copy this command to run your CLI and go back to your terminal, paste the code, hit enter and your CLI will be up and running in a few seconds. So what if for some reason you enter a wrong command or syntax on your CLI and you get this screen? There's nothing to fear. Just use the same wrong command to bring back the CLI. So you can use your arrow keys to bring up your previously run command. And here you can see this is the command to launch the CLI. Just hit enter and the command will run to bring up your CLI. The CLI is updated regularly. So what if you want to update to the latest version? All you have to do is to use this command. You'll find the command 
in the description. So copy it and paste it in your terminal. Hit enter and wait for the command to execute. As you can see here, my CLI is already up to date. If yours isn't up to date, it will update the CLI. So that's it about the Octra pre-testnet for now. If this video has helped you, like, comment, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have any issues, ask for help in the comments or in my Telegram group. You'll find the link to the group in the description. Join my Telegram channel for more Octra pre-testnet updates to AirDrops, tips, and tutorials. Check out the bonus section of this description for some of the hottest test nets you can join. So keep interacting on the Octra pre-test net. Stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video.